And it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard again. It's been a couple of days, but my paints are now shaken. I have glasses. This is the sunflower that was a result of doing a recent class. Now, it was my first time, so this line of demarcation, which I actually don't mind, I like it quite a bit, um, is something I'm going to try and not have happen again. But in any case, I've got containers, and I'm sort of devising a new method of doing this. And... Uh, while I was cleaning out my squeeze bottle tips before this, I had a little accident. But it's st such a little accident that it shouldn't make any difference. We could actually put that forward. And what I'm going to do to start with is mix up the colors of the green that I used around the edge on all four corners and between them so that I have something... Oh, you know what? I think I forgot one of my major colors that I wanted. There! I, they're here! Awesome! Love it. Love it when I'm actually organized. So cool. Love it, love it, love it. Let's hope that I shook that, yeah. So I'm just going to make sure I have enough to, to cover a good section of that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hard squeeze the green in, and then I'm going to float some on the surface. Because my idea is going to be to tip my little cup, and that may or may not work, but I do have little scoops hand, hanging... Hanging out, standing by. Standing by is better. So the other thing that I'm going to do is look for the sunflower petal colors. And I think that's going to be somewhat similar to last time in that I'm going to use similar colors. But the thing is that last time I put all my colors down individually. And this, this time I want to try and um, scoop them into place. Which, okay. That'll be interesting. There's a little gold in there now. <laughs> the gold was a good thing for the center. I used an Anita's Black right here, which was very gray for my center. And I should show you that again. And I sprinkled a little bit of... That's very, very, very brownish black, which is exactly what we needed. And that was a bubble. So always torch <laughs> to get rid of your bubbles. And I'm going to keep putting yellow in, I believe. And it doesn't matter if that's marbled or not because we really kind of want it to be a little marbled and my other colors are handy in case I need them again most of my stuff is more or less out of the way I'm going to put some of that an Arteza oh gosh phthalo green blue whatever over there so now I'm going to start by taking that's not the black I want I just showed you guys the black and then I put it down oh there it is wrong black I'm going to give myself a little center to work with. I probably shouldn't have filled that in. I probably should have left it. But I'm thinking that I want, um, I want to give myself the demarcation line of some petals. And I don't know what I'm doing, but I am going to keep trying to do it anyway. So here goes nothing. Oh, you know what? I want a line that I could have mixed, and I still could mix. Where's the, another container? Let's just use that. All right, I'm gonna make a line of demarcation between, and I'm gonna use colors I like that are dark, because I want it to be dark. And I'm gonna use some more of that black. And I'm gonna hope that I can get Let me use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. And just make sure I don't waste any of that paint, or as little as possible. Which is my theory about how to make paint last longer, is don't pour it away onto a puppy pad. Sorry, <laughs> people who use puppy pads. I love you, but you drive me crazy. So, I'm not sure how that should be at all. And I could probably make that irreverently... Yeah, let's just... Let's just do the irreverently thing and spread that out. I think I'm going to use my turntable because it's here. Turntables I have placed Lazy Susans underneath Show More, underneath the video. Uh, there's an Amazon link and I put stuff on list one for fluid acrylics or for pouring or whatever it's called um, that would be useful for that. I'm not trying to make pretty cells. If I get pretty colors, that's okay with me. 
Um, I am going to wipe that off. If I had a rag, it would be better. It looks like I left my dish inside for the class, but fortunately I have enough rags around here so that I can just use one that's handy. They're actually swipe cloths, but... Um, all right, so next I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. Am I? Yes, I am. I'm going to do it like this. Because I can. That's the name of my book on the Amazon link. That way I'm sure that I have enough paint to go around. And that way I can also give myself a little more paint from the bottom of the cup. Maybe I can make some of that actually fall over the sides like that's already doing all by itself. All right, so time to bring that same spatula back because it was working pretty well for me. I'm gonna go both directions. I'm gonna not mind if some paint falls over the edges because that's gonna help cover my edges. I'm not gonna mind if um, some of that purple comes down into the green. Matter of fact, I might even make a plan out of that just to um, make the edge not so hard. I'm going to scrape off my spatula as opposed to wiping off my spatula because the color on it is fairly pure. And even if it wasn't, it would have this other combination in it that would be great. I'm going to scrape up anything on my tile and uh, push my canvas to the edge of the tile so that the drips that are coming down over it, I can use my finger and encourage them in with the rest of the things, uh, <laughs> with the rest of the paint, not things. Anyway, so hopefully this will be fairly quick because it's really stupid hot out here and um, I still want to be here with you guys. Thank you for coming, by the way. Uh, thank you for subscribing, by the way. We're almost, we're working on, um, working on 80,000 subscribers, which is probably neither here nor there because things are happening that are going to change everything at YouTube really, really shortly if they haven't already. So... This is basically, the green part is just a representative of um, the foliage. And as I notice that I don't have my edge covered, I'm going to use what I've got where I've got it from the spatula or dripping down over the side or stealing a little paint and pulling it because the paint that's on the edges will also encourage the paint above it to come down and cover. And I've got very little left to cover, happily and a spatula with some paint on it still. It looks like I use a pretty much the right amount of paint. At least that's my opinion so far. I might need some more, but I've got a little bit left in my cup, not much, and it will dry if I don't use it, so I'm trying to be kind of quick. And hopefully this all of this works nicely. I'm inclined to want to cover my center, but as soon as I smooth that paint in the center out, then I'm going to be subject to um, a, a drying layer. So as long as it's in a puddle, I'm probably better off right now. And I've got one more side and I thought it was covered and I apologize. It's not covered yet, but it's almost covered. And I am going to take a little bit of that paint like I said I would and just use it right with a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. Spatulas and, and uh, skewers and basting brushes, they're not like real brushes when you use fluid acrylics. So um, give yourself a chance to have a little practice before you judge yourself as incapable because it's a different tool and if I see that I've got something like that that looks kind of naked for canvas gotta be careful about what we say these days too all right so that's it for right now and I'm gonna shove it all down to the center and I'm gonna try and find something to put over the top of it so if I need that little bit of paint I'll have it and I have I have a little plastic cover and I'm going to use it and that ought to help a lot and I'm going to wipe off my spatula because I've been enjoying using it a lot and I know now that I can take this black and I can put dots of it around my petals so I'm really hoping that this works <laughs> here goes nothing sort of thing all right boy oh boy can I do this yeah I can so Yesterday, or the day before yesterday now, actually, I, uh, I used chain, and I'm still tempted to use chain. And I may have to, well, yeah, it doesn't matter if I spill right now, but it would be better if I didn't, as in, at which stage is it okay to spill? And the answer is really, you're lucky if it's none.
After I get my first layer down, I'm going to go back with the second. I'd like it to be fatter at the top and be able to pull it out with the chain. And I'm going to try and not worry about my center yet. I'm just worried that I might not have enough paint, actually. But it's not going to be that hard to mix up some more. And I think that the scooping method is somewhat more economical. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe I can, uh, as I chain through, let's just fill in anything we see that we might need. As I chain through, if I can use the dribbles on the chain. And I know I could probably go in right now, and maybe I should right now, and add a little more. It's not going to hurt anything, for sure. I'm going to have to draw a line of a line down between the petals to make them look like petals, I think. We shall see. I need a chain. A clean chain that's flexible would be good. Uh, here goes nothing. I think my tile is way out of position. That's... Oh, because it's two tiles, not one. Okay, so I'm going to let this be a cleaner chain than that one, and I'm going to let it be a little bit wider at the top and push it up. and try and wipe off my chain because I am nervous about having too much paint. Let's hope I can do this at all. I'm just going to go around once, as long as I can get away with it. I want to go the wrong way first. This is only my second time, <laughs> and I really want to use that extra paint. So I think that's what, I, what's, what I'm going to happen. What, <laughs> what I'm going to happen, what's going to happen is uh, I just allow colors to mix a little bit more than I was expecting to. And hope for the best. I think less yellow paint next time. Good thing sunflowers are very individual, like sort of like thumbprints <laughs> or fingerprints. And uh, even if this turns out to be stylized, that's kind of okay with me. I do think less paint in my scoop, but I never used the scoop before, so now it's time for me to see if I want to fatten out my petals, and if I even can. Maybe I should have stuck with the same method I had. Maybe it'll be okay. I'm still going to get that line, but it's still going to look neat, so I'm okay with that. Like I said, I think less paint Let's go two. Let's go more than two. Let's just let's steal some paint from over here. Go back there. So this is a work in progress, and I'll be doing more work to its progress at some point. Let me give myself a little more here. That is the round front number five, and that is on my Amazon link. If you like the way that looks. I'm going to be rinsing, rinsing it off in a moment. Too much green there, too much purple there. Definitely time to rinse it off and get a bigger rag. Flatten my rag out so I have more surface area. exactly what I was expecting, but uh, that's pretty much par for the course when you're trying new methods. So now I'm going to do something else, and I was planning on using my purple. Yes, I was. I figured there's always tomorrow. If I wanted to take what I've got and have it be the background for tomorrow's fix. I could probably lighten up all my petals and that would be okay. I might not actually want purple in every single spot either, but I may have it for right now. 
So I like the, the large skewers and I like the flat end because as I scrape it along it sort of drags a sufficient enough of enough paint so that I can spread out what I've got. And my intention here is going to be to use whatever is on the skewer to fill in between the petals and make sort of an abstract whoops design. Hey look a bug ate something. <laughs> Bugs do eat sunflowers, so it's kind of cool when the, the when the little uh, when the cells occur cuz that's what it looks like. It looks like bug out bug munch time. And I can take the paint that I just got from the petal pulled next to it and use it on the one next to that. It is so hard. <laughs> I'm glad I have plenty of paint on my canvas because it would be drying if I did not. I'm just going to try and remember to fill in, not leading too much yellow places it doesn't belong. In the end, it's it's an impressionist flower, so we're just making the impression. And I still think it's probably going to be kind of cool. And like I said, there's always tomorrow. Will there be a part two? The mystery continues. Yeah, I didn't have um, as defined tops, on rounded tops on my petals as I had wanted yesterday. I keep saying yesterday, but I think it was the day before, actually. I might want that to go away, at least somewhat. Just use my little scoop and a little camouflage. Yeah, I've got some paint over there that wants to go somewhere else other than on my tile. I've got two minutes left to tell you guys to shop my Amazon link and uh, no ad it costs you and it helps me out a lot. Eventually, by the end of the month, maybe, sometimes, often. It's a big help, especially since things are changing at YouTube, as I might have mentioned, and uh, revenues, revenues have a good chance of going down, rules are changing, channels are going to disappear, creators are not going to get paid what they, what they once did, and uh, I'd like to stay, which reminds me, if you guys want to buy a piece of artwork, I do sell my artwork. And it might be really important to have a few people who want to. I hope I don't run out of time. I'd like to finish this, but I don't know how fast I can actually do it. Maybe I'll just make a, make a cheap attempt <laughs> at getting it done. Uh, I have underneath the video, you are going to be able to find the paint pouring recipe and PayPal and Patreon. Um, if you want to contribute to the studio, you can also grab my email address and if you send me a contribution, I will uh, include you in the month's contest, which you can find on the end screens. And It'll be mixed in with a video exhibition currently, which is fantasy art. And there's over 800 videos I have. I made a milestone, so I want to get to that center. And when the timer goes off, I'll have one more minute left, so that might not be impossible. But um, this is a very abstract process. And I don't usually do too many processes where the, the main ingredient is to wipe off my tool, but in this case, yes, definitely. Because too much, too much paint will be too much paint. And I think I gauged the amount of paint I needed fairly well. There might be a little more, but... As in it's still an experiment, then we're still all learning. That's one minute left. And what do I need to tell you guys? I hid my crib sheet. I want to thank you for all the contributions in the past that have kept me painting. I really appreciate that. And I want to pull that down and put it over here. I'd really love to be able to show you the center, which is basically just uh, filling in what we've got. and adding some cross hatching. So maybe I'll try that. Really quickly. And if you guys would give me a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. It helps the YouTube algorithm know or give my videos better placement so more people can see them. And if more people see them, then I have a much better chance of bringing you guys more videos or continuing to bring them more consistently or 
at least stay as consistent as I am, which would be nice. If I can make a living and stay at YouTube, I will, and if I cannot, I will not. 